talking Scranton Prep basketball, Daniel Santanello. Uh, let's talk about your love of the game and when it developed. Yeah, no, um, so I really didn't take basketball serious until the end of my freshman year basketball season. And uh, I just randomly picked up a love for basketball. And ever since then, it's just been like hard work and just being in the gym every day, getting up shots. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to get me out of the gym. You're a rare bird, freshman year. You're like, hey man, this, this basketball stuff's kind of fun. Um, let's talk about, you know, things that you work on. How much time are you putting into the gym? Yeah, so uh, during the summer, probably about like upwards of six and up hours a day. Uh, an hour in the weight room, uh, two hours of shooting, two hours of schoolwork. Just really refining. Cause I'm, I started so late that I had to catch up compared to everyone else. So yeah. Let's talk about Coach Kettle, uh, what has been his mindset with you and, and saying, hey, now that you love it, you know, let's keep going for it. Yeah, no, he's been, he's been great, um, really keeping me involved in the system, uh, keeping my head where it's supposed to be, focused on basketball, really worrying about what I'm supposed to be worrying about. I mean, he's been great with some of the adversity I faced, helping me through it, and just stuff like that. Let's talk about this team and, and you guys going through the ebbs and flows of the season. There's been some adversity in the sense that you didn't win every game, but nobody does. Yeah. Uh, but talk about some of those tough games and what the league was like in, in the Lackawanna League. Yeah, so I missed my first, the first two games, which so I had to, I came back third game of the third game, I believe it was Dallas. They beat us, and uh, it's tough coming back to a loss. Then uh, just grouped together, came back, started playing good. You feel like you guys have played your best basketball yet, or you think that's still coming? Still to come, definitely. I mean, we're, we're very, very, very skilled. I don't know too many teams that have as much skill as we do. We're young. We got, we got time. Let's talk a little bit about the Valley View game, being at the arena, the atmosphere, you know, being a close game, and then, you know, third quarter didn't really go your way, and then the fourth quarter did. Yeah, so, I mean, it was great to get the momentum to start. Swing, the momentum was just swinging back and forth. Uh, making shots. I mean, I thought it, a lot of people talk about how it's hard to shoot in the arena. I didn't really feel like it was too hard. Um, Valley View, they're tough. Uh, beating us twice in the regular season is tough, and coming back and losing a third game to us. I mean, the arena was great. And as far as, uh, you know, the state playoffs, home game, the crowd, your family, talk a little bit about all those factors. Are just. You know, feeling good about hey, this, this is a good situation we put ourselves in. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, being home for a playoff game is great. I mean, normally you get the um, uh, what's the word? The, neutral site. Yeah, neutral site, and it's nice having a home game, being able to get our fans out there. And uh, that team we play, I think they're upwards by Philly, and I mean it's great because they probably won't be bringing as many guys, so we'll have the home court advantage. We should be able to shoot because we know our ribs. All that type of stuff goes into it. Well, uh, it's great to hear your story and keep working hard those six-hour days. Love Thank to hear you. it. Thank you. I appreciate it.